The Prince George's County Council may be reversing its decision to not allow members to attend meetings and vote remotely. Yeah, the issue reached a boiling point in recent weeks, you may recall, when the council rejected a move that would have allowed a pregnant council member to vote remotely during her upcoming maternity leave. Our investigative reporter Tracy Wilkins has been following this issue from the beginning. She joins us now with today's developments. Tracy? Hey, Jim, today the Prince George's County Council's Committee of the Whole passed legislation that would allow remote voting with a final vote expected next week. If passed, it will allow council member Crystal Oriada, believed to be the council's first pregnant member, to participate virtually during her maternity leave, which is expected for October. Today, we also heard apologies from a councilman who previously voted against the measure. Just two weeks ago, the Prince George's County Council was asked by its attorneys to address remote voting in its rules, something it had started during the pandemic. The first vote on the resolution failed, with former council chair Calvin Hawkins accusing Oriava of playing a victim. Hawkins also made clear he voted against the resolution in hopes of busting Oriava's majority voting bloc while she was on leave. That led to labor leaders and other elected officials and residents protesting outside of the council last week and dozens testifying in support of Oriava and calling for a revote. Today, the council did just that and Hawkins apologized for his earlier comments. I want the council and the public to be aware that I apologize to Councilwoman Oriada last week following remarks I made that were insensitive, emotional, and not all in indicate of my beliefs, character, or commitment to all the residents of Prince George's County and beyond. Thank you for that, because it takes a lot um, to realize when you do something wrong and to be open and willing to apologize for those things. And um, I can appreciate that. Uh, I wish all my colleagues felt that way, but they don't. Um, but I'm hopeful that we can continue to work together. Two council members, including Hawkins, changed their vote to get the resolution passed. Three abstained. Montgomery County approved remote voting in January. Back to you all. Tracy, thanks so much. Tracy, we understand that at least one national organization also took an interest in the resolution after your reporting. Yes, Jim, we reached out to the Vote Mama Foundation during our coverage of this issue. That foundation decided to advocate on Oriada's behalf. This is a group that works to support young mothers in elected office. They say many women wait until their children are older or delay starting a family because of all the barriers women politicians face and found only 12 women serving in state legislatures gave birth last year and just three of them were black mothers. The foundation says that impacts the laws that are made and who gets to make them in a way that is not equitable. Let's hope times are changing. Tracy, thanks so much for your reporting on all of this. We appreciate it.